and he begins to accompany the Lord. He got to protect um, um, pipeline from wherever to Lagos. So he could cover his security line. It's uncomfortable and it is unfair. And this is a person who has made war either against the Shekiri, against the Milaje people. And you want the same person now to secure the pipeline in those areas. Is it fair? Is it fair? No. Is it fair? No. So when the government will reconsider, you know, the funds are given to Tompolo alone you know, to protect the pipeline. We know our territory. We know our environment. The security of our environment is of authority to us and any other place. No one, no one can protect us better than we do. We know, we, we know the topography, we know the area. And the mistake the NFPC and the federal government is making is this. If you fail to engage the communities along the pipeline, no, nobody can protect it better than the people themselves. Because the people that, tra that traverse the place, whether for various um, 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 trade, whether for fishing, for farming, day and night, they know when um, pandas come, they know when um, um, bunkers come, so, and they know all the escape routes. They know their tactics. So we are telling the government clearly that the protection of pipeline contract should be reduced. How can, for God's sake, how can you tell, uh, give um, um, pipeline um, protection in the Shekiri land, for instance, to a Tompolo who has waged war against them, or uh, 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 as against the indigenous people? How on earth? Can you give a protection of a pipeline in the Niger land to a Tompolo? Or how on how on earth will you give a protection of pipeline uh, in Lagos, in the southwest, to somebody from um, 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 Nijo and where have you? Uh, a former a, 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 a former militant who has waged war against Nigeria, a former militant who has destroyed the same pipeline you are asking to come and protect today. So that is, that, is the, that, that is what we are saying. That enough is enough. We have competent people. We have, we have professionals. We have competencies to protect the, uh, the uh, pipeline along our corridor and beyond. So great Nigerian people. Great. That, is the, that is what we are saying today. Because as spoken by the, um, by the other person, a whole lot of things is attached to it. But the fundamental is security. If you empower somebody to protect my pipeline at his hand, the day that is an issue between between um, us or between the nationalities and things, it gets his own tribe. You definitely use the same arm to use to your your the civil license to use to protect the pipeline and turn it against the people, just like he has done before. So great Nigerian people. We have the right to tell the government what and what we want and what and what we should do as citizens of this nation to, 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 make, it, uh, to make Nigeria move forward. Now, what is at stake now? The issue of our uh, security, pipeline security. Not only pipeline anyway, but our security in the southwest and south south. Now, it is very pertinent to tell the government that uh, it is not only one ethnic group or one individual that should be in charge of this uh, pipeline. Now, security is for every one of us. In security, you have employment, backing it up, isn't it? Yes. Now, if all this pipeline security something is given, is divided equally among us, some of our youth who are 
who have engaged in many things that is not uh, that is not worthy of doing, they will not do it. They will not do it because they have, they have job to do. God help our nation. Now, the, our, our own view as concerned citizens of this nation, Nigeria, 